Buffalo and welcome to a new Football Australia podcast where we'll be bringing you daily updates and stories from the Australia Under-23s camp in Uzbekistan. My name is Chris Karuli and for our first episode I'm here with a couple of members of our squad for the upcoming Asian Cup in Josh Rawlins and Patrick Wood. Boys, thanks for joining us. How's it going? Good mate, thanks for having us. Yeah, cheers mate, it's been good so far. No worries, yeah, well we'll just start with the trip over. Um, Pat, if you want to let us know, I guess it was a, a long flight, but how did you find the travel? Yeah, it was, it was long, it was 29 hours I think all up. We got a flight from Sydney to Dubai and then a layover in Dubai for a few hours and then <laughs> Dubai to Uzbekistan and yeah, dragged on, that's for sure. And Josh, you boys ended up rooming together. Do you know how that ended up happening? How it came about? No, I don't think so. Just decent roomy, so I'm happy with that, yeah. Happy so far? Yeah, he's been good so far. Have you guys had any stories of players? Are there any players that stand out as, you know, roomies that you don't want to be with? Um, maybe Pat Yazbek sometimes, yeah. <laughs> His sleep talks. Oh, really? Yeah. You've experienced it firsthand. Yeah. There you go. Um, training yesterday, first session, was a pretty relaxed one. Um, Bit of head tennis going on, got a bit intense. How did, how did you find it? It was pretty competitive. <laughs> well, you, you were my team. Yeah. yeah. We made the final and we just fell short, I think. Mm. There was a bit of contention around the rules as well, right? Yeah, a few personal errors on the team, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Myself included. It was take, tough, yeah. Take full responsibility. It's okay. We'll go again today, potentially. Um, <laughs> we mentioned as well a few boys coming in overnight um adelaide boys that some of you probably both know quite well yeah play with lucky last Oliver's trip he's a great dude so keen to see him yeah i think i've played with bernardo a little bit through the youth national team so it's good to good to catch up with you know, old teammates yeah it's his first call up to Oliver's bernardo what do you think he'll bring to the squad uh, i think he's a very positive like player on just loves to play football and you know dribble at his opponent so he'd be a good addition. You mentioned the last qualifiers to Jikistan. Um, quite an experience from start yeah. to finish. You scored two goals in two games. Yeah. How would you find the trip? Yeah, it was a good trip. It was my first trip with the national team, so I really enjoyed it. And we qualified, so that's what we did, went there to do. So it was a good trip all around. Yeah, and as you said, it was your first trip. Like you always hear from the boys talking about what it means to play for the national team and pull on the green and gold and all that. But I guess personally, I'm keen to hear from both of you, you know, what is that feeling when you, you put on the shirt? Yeah, I think it's the ultimate drive while we play football to play for our country. So when we get the opportunity, it's, it's always an unbelievable experience. So I can't wait for the, this upcoming trip. Yeah, I think club football is good, but once you, you know, get in that national team environment, you you thrive a lot more under, under like the pressure and having that, you know, national badge. It's it's a good feeling. Yeah, you both feel I guess keen to to step up heading into this tournament after you know big year, big couple of years, you know, breaking into the first team with your club. Yeah, definitely. Really excited for the Asian Cup, first real tournament with the national team. So super excited. Any takeaways from like that last tournament playing Indonesia? Obviously, it was a pretty pretty wild conditions and not the greatest setup over there. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was just still unreal to play for the country. So, no matter where, what, I really enjoyed the experience. What about like the Asian opposition? I'll give you another question with that. Like the, um, you know, obviously played in the, the Champions League a couple of months ago too. Um, what do you think that might help you? You know, just getting that experience playing out on the continent. Yeah, I hope so. They're always difficult teams. We played against Korean champs and the Japanese champs, so it was a hard, hard game over there, and the heat was extremely hot. So I don't know. Hopefully, um, using that experience over here will definitely help me. Pretty warm over here too. Um, yeah, it's speak? been alright. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't been too bad. It's been it's been quite nice. I think today is supposed to be pretty warm though. Yeah. I think it's meant to warm up a bit. Yeah, you're right. Like. Obviously, coming from winter to summer might be a bit of a change, yeah. but yeah. you'd be used to it, I guess, playing in the A-League over summer, especially over in Perth, you get some hot days. There. Yeah, no, nah, in Perth, it's, it's crazy. It's so hot, like, especially at the start of the season, but it's nice when we go to Sydney and places like that. It's always <laughs> raining. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Just for Perth when they come over, I guess. But um, 
speaking about past experience, um, Josh, like we had that that under 17s World Cup over yeah. in Brazil that you played in, and there's quite a few members from that squad in in this squad. It's good to, I guess, get back with the boys. And you know, what are your memories of that tournament? Yeah, no, I think it was it was a good tournament. You know, a lot of a lot of talent. I think we came from the A League and. And now we're actually, you know, playing a bit more throughout the A-League. Um, you got Bernardo, myself, um, and a few others coming through. So, yeah, it was a good tournament. Definitely a lot of fun. And it was in Brazil, so no better place. Yeah, any moments that stand out off the park from, from that tour? Any cities or that kind of thing? Um, no, we did a little bit of, like, sightseeing, a bit of around um, wait, 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 Sao Paulo. Um, but besides that, it was pretty much just football. Are there any of the boys you kind of stayed in touch with or got close with from, from that tour? Yeah, me and Bernardo uh, talk quite a bit off the pitch. Uh, just, you know, keep in contact. And obviously we found out we're both coming here. We're pretty, pretty excited. Trevor, obviously, familiar coach from that tournament. Um, you boys have been training in different setups. Um, and now you've both had experience under Trevor Morgan. What's, what's he like as a coach? He's a great coach. I think brings a lot for the young boys, especially. I think he's been around the game for a long time, so he really shows different aspects of the game. And yeah, really good coach. Yeah, I think he he definitely just knows how to get around the players, and because he's been coaching a few, you know, 15s, 17s, now the Ollie Roos, he knows you know a lot of the boys coming through, so I think that helps. Tell us a bit about what the vibes like in camp at the moment. You know, there's a lot of boys that have played against each other this season, um, but what's it like? Is everyone coming together well? Yeah, it's been good so far, I think. We've only been together for a few days now, but for this next camp, this next whole pre-camp, we all gel really well together and looking forward to the start of the tournament. Yeah, I agree. The boys have been pretty good and I think head tennis yesterday kind of summed it up. <laughs> Was there anyone that stood out as a, as a strong performer or someone Qual. that... I, I, <laughs> yeah, Qual, or the opposite? Qual. Yeah, yeah. Qual? yeah he was yeah. really good. And Billo. Billo was pretty good. For a keeper, surprising. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Good touch for the for the big man. Um, and also after dinner and that kind of thing, you guys obviously have a few different options. I think you boys were playing cards last night. Yeah, we're into cards. Twenty one. Twenty one. Three up, three down. Actually, speaking of off the park, do you have a PS five with you for this? Uh, PS four. PS four. Not quite on the PS five yet. Okay. Yeah. It's Watch. hard hard to get. Yeah, I mean, we saw plenty at Dubai Airport, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe on the way back? Maybe. <laughs> What'd you go to on there? Huh? Uh, COD. Okay. Yeah, love COD. Okay. So no no multiplayer as such then? No, nah, no, nah, Warzone. Warzone, yeah. okay. Fair. Just fancy yourself? Think you're good at uh, it? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Have one more serious question before we just hit you with a few quick fire questions to finish up. Yeah, you guys are both part of this this next generation that are looking towards the Paris Olympics. Um, is that a target? Is that something that's, I guess, in the back of your minds heading into this tournament? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely, I think, what we all want to do, being Olympian and play for your country at the Olympics in Paris. I don't think there'd be anything that would top that off, to be honest. So hopefully this tournament's the start of something big for the Olyroos. Yeah, I agree. I don't think there's a better place. You know, you want to go than Paris. It's it's a beautiful place, and obviously to be playing for your country in an Olympics, there's you know a lot of people dream of that, and to maybe be doing it would be something different. Yeah, and you boys probably have been in touch with some of the guys who were at Tokyo. Um, have you heard any stories or chatted to any of them about it? Yeah, I was really close with Joel King when he was at Sydney, and he honestly says it's one of the best things he's ever done, and just being part of the Olympic Village and playing games for his country, played top opposition, and they won, they beat Argentina. So, yeah, it's good to hear those stories and I can't, I can't wait and hopefully see us there in a few years. Yeah, and then of course, Kingy got that move over to, to Europe off the back of it. And yeah. that's something that's happened with you now lately, Josh, yeah. with the Utrecht move. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Um, I guess, how did it come about in the first place? Uh, I think, you know, we just, uh, in the middle of the A-League season and obviously my contract was up at the end of the year and you know got a few phone calls uh, from Utrecht you know discussing what I'm like and stuff like that and yeah, and then a couple of weeks later they kind of sent through a contract and that was that. Well before we finish up we're just going to hit you 
with a few quick fire questions. Um, we'll ask these to all of the boys over the next couple of weeks and maybe compare how you go in the end. Um, you've probably answered a few of these already, but let's start. So we'll just fly through them. Um, we did mention this, but what's your go-to game to spend the time in camp? You got 21. 21 or 2048. There yeah. you go. You know, this is so boring, bro. It's fun. <laughs> this one's not going to get any more interesting. Um, what's your favourite meal or your go-to meal in camp? Mm. I don't know. It changes a lot. Yeah. Breakfast, probably, probably eggs on good. toast. Yeah. Dinner. Anything but rice pasta. And chicken. <laughs> yeah. Fair. You've been pleased with the work of, of Tiago, the chef, yeah, so far? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, top chef. It's been nice. Good guy too, hey? Yeah. Um, getting through a, a long plane trip, I guess, what's your go-to? Well, I slept. Yeah, sleeping pills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I sleep through flights so good. Do you guys watch any movies? No. no. Oh, no. bit of Friends. Okay. Yeah, friends. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Nice way to pass the time. You can just binge it. Fair. Um, do you have a favourite goal that you've scored? Mount drew it last week, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know, probably first goal for Australia. My first goal, the double I got in the A-League. One of those two. Yeah, I'm still waiting for mine, so when I, when I, I'll scoring? let you know. I'll <laughs> let you know. He's coming in this tournament, right? All good. Um, past and present, is there a player that you would have loved to have played with anyone? Messy, so I can put it on a platter for me. Ronaldinho, just because I would just be on his team, dribbling and doing whatever. For the vibes yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, it'd be fun off the park. Um, I'm going to ask the same in reverse, thinking of players that might mark you. Is there a player that you've watched and you'd go on, I wouldn't want to play against them? Mm. Probably Woody. I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ryan McGowan. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> he just kicks me. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, did you guys have any experience? Did you have any clashes on the pitch playing against each other over the last few years? No, I don't think no, we, no, played we played against each other. Yeah, no. okay. There you go. Um, and we asked you this at the start, but best and worst roommate you've had? I've had... I don't know, I've only, I've only really had one roommate, Yazbek. He's probably the best and the worst. I don't think but I've you're had, pretty good, bro. I don't think I've had a bad roommate. No. I don't even remember my roommates. I mean you've spent plenty of time away from, from Perth over the last year. Oh uh, so. actually maybe Carlo. Okay. Yeah. Talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, one last question before we let you boys go. Um, we got audio listeners as well that might not see this footage. Um, describe the haircuts. Oh. <laughs> you boys, have, I've heard a bit, a bit of boys stirring you up, maybe more the staff, but um, just describe, I guess, what it looks like and, and why that's the, the choice at the moment. Well, I just did this in the off season, uh, at the end of the season. I went blonde and then sort of grown through a bit, so it's a bit silvery blacky. But I did it last off season and I quite liked it, so give it another go. Did you cop it from the boys much last year? Um, no, nah, because I did it when no one saw me in lockdown. <laughs> Fair enough. No, mine's just mine was just for fun at like at first, but then I kind of you know kind of liked it more now and more. Serious. So yeah, now it's serious. Part of the brand. Yeah. Oh it's got yeah. Stripes in there and everything. Yeah. You know, short on the sides, a bit short on top, long on the back. It's nice. It's business there, guys. Yeah. What do you think the reception will be like over in Europe with that? Oh, might not be. Maybe take a while to warm up. Yeah. Keep your neck warm, though. Yeah. It'll be good. There you go. All right, boys. Well, thanks for your time. Um, appreciate you. it. Okay. And look forward to seeing what you get up to in, in camp and once the tournament starts. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, boys. Thanks.